Bastia took on Saint-Étienne on Saturday, desperate to end a nine-game winless run that has plunged them into the automatic relegation places. The struggling Corsicans blew a two-goal lead late on to draw with Nantes in a rearranged fixture in midweek. And they almost fell behind early on this time as Jordan Veretou shot wide on the slide after finding plenty of space in the Bastia penalty area. Still searching for a first win under new coach Rui Almeida, Bastia should have broken the deadlock. But Florian Raspentino headed well over when he should have scored after visiting goalkeeper Stefan Ruffier had struggled to deal with a free kick that had been curled straight at him by Swede Pierre Benkson. The home side looked dangerous from set pieces. But Moroccan defender Abdelhamid El Kautari headed his effort a long way over the crossbar when totally unmarked. Bastia's hopes of claiming a victory that their early pressure suggested could be coming took a massive dent as they were reduced to 10 men before half-time. Centre-back Nicolas Samrouf making just his second league start for Almeida's men having been sent off on his full debut after joining from Montpellier, was rightly shown a straight red card for a horrific high tackle on Vincent Pajot, who had to be substituted with a head injury. That sending off was Bastia's eighth in just nine games, meaning they've had more red cards than goals scored during that woeful run. Saint-Étienne didn't appear too bothered about using their man advantage to go after the three points, and after labouring for long periods, they were also reduced to 10. Francois Lemoine, on as a sub for the stricken Pajot, saw red for a high tackle on El Carutari, who clutched his head despite the boot of Lemoine not going above shoulder height. Still a dangerous tackle, though, from the veteran midfielder. Levert should have won the game late on anyway, but substitute Benjamin Cornet headed over with the goal gaping. Bastia couldn't quite match Saint-Étienne and create an effort on goal, but they did muster a late attack which petered out with Farid Boulaya. Nil-nil the final score, which was fitting for a non-entity of a game in which the only talking points were the two red cards. Bastia remained second bottom, two points off 18th place Dijon, while Saint-Étienne is seventh and now unlikely to reach the Europa League.